All right, so Alec Kinski back with another episode of uh, The Breakout. We're here with uh, my co-host Alex Caramanos, and we're joined by uh, Keontae George, uh, top 10 uh, junior in the 2022 class. Uh, Keontae, thanks for uh, thanks for being with us here. I uh, appreciate you for having me. So I'll uh, I'll just I'll kick it off. You're you're having a really nice school uh, year for high school. You just transferred in this season, playing a national schedule. Obviously, going through COVID. Just uh, I guess catch us up with the season so far, and you know how you guys have had to adjust through uh, the different COVID restrictions. Uh, you know uh, the season been going smooth. You know we really haven't really had to miss any games besides our game on Tuesday. We were supposed to play Hillcrest, but it was postponed. Uh, but we've been able to travel. Uh, we drive or we uh, fly on the plane. It's just some turn the reason that we got to get tested, you know, make sure we don't got no problems, you know. And if one of our teammates get it, then, you know, we have to quarantine, you know, just to stay safe. You know, we always wear our masks when we travel, wherever we go. But, you know, really, it's been a big adjustment, but at the same time, I mean, it's just a blessing because we uh, haven't been able to stop playing. Absolutely. You're definitely, you know, the, the, the prep school schedule definitely is, um, you know, tailored to you guys kind of making your own decisions doing that. You guys haven't had anyone with COVID, have you? Uh, no, sir. Yeah, see, so, you know, proof that it that it can definitely work. You guys are having a really good season as well, uh, playing a lot of national competition. Um, talk about uh, your most recent double overtime uh, uh, affair against Oak Hill, one of the, uh, you know, top five teams in the country. Oh, well, you know, we just play Oak Hill on, you know, we play on my ESPN. So, you know, coming to that game, you know, Coach telling us, like, you know, I could, that could be the biggest game of our lot of the season. So, like, just go in there, just compete, play hard, just show that we belong. And then we did the little things, and then we were able to take them to double OT. You know, we was up for almost the whole game. You know, we watched, we watched some film to see, like, little things that we could have done better to be able to close out that game and win it. But, you know, it gave a lot of my guys, like, different opportunities. You know, like Matt Reed, you know, he was able to show what he could actually do. Yeah, he you looked know, great. Cruz, Cruz, yeah, Cruz Davis, he was able to show what he could do, you know, Eli Taylor. So, you know, it was just a great opportunity for us to just go and, like, show that we can really compete with anybody in the country. Absolutely. Yeah, so during this summer with COVID going on and a lot of things being shut down, what did you work on? the most during quarantine to stay on top of your game and be ready for this season that you're in now? Uh, when quarantine first started, you know, I was working out in my garage, doing jump ropes, asking my trainer what I need to do, like different ball handling and stuff. And then, you know, my trainer, he has his own gym, so he was able to open up. You know, we started just working on, like, little stuff, just, like, getting my jump shot more consistent, you know, little things. And then as COVID, like, went on, we was able to, like, get more work in. So now just really i just been, like, working on, like, different finishes, uh, just getting stronger, just doing everything like to be great. Texas is a uh, really close knit unit, right? Like everyone, everyone kind of knows everything about what's going on in Texas. If if, if you're in the, uh, uh, you know, in that environment, uh, who are the best uh, players that you've played with from Texas? You know, that have come home that you might have been in runs with. Uh, I've been able to play uh, in different runs with you know RJ, you know Jalen. Yep. Uh, as as of my class, you know, be able to play in runs where, you know, Casey Wallace, Rylan Griffin, uh, been able to compete against uh, Manny Obaseki, uh, you know, Jalen Tyson. So different guys like that. Uh, you know, Noah Shelby, Lee Dort, just, you know, it's great competition down here. So we all compete, you know, we all work hard. And as you can see, it's starting to show off. For sure. Yeah, so like we were talking about, you played Oak Hill on the national schedule, and you've been playing a national schedule. These games that you guys have played against these uh, highly ranked teams, uh, has that helped you and your teammates prepare for the future? Uh, definitely. You know, you know, a lot of our guys just our first, you know, traveling, playing high caliber guys. So you know, coming into next year, like we've already seen it. You know, we've competed. You know, we've been in some tough games. We were able to you know, stay close with uh, different teams, you know, like Oak Hill or Combine, you know, uh, different schools like that. But then, you know, coming into next year, you know, we already we already have the experience. All we got to do is just get the guys, you know, ready, prepare, you know, all be leaders, don't be, you know what I'm saying, front runners. And then we can just go out and actually win ball games. I've seen quite a few comps uh, for your game on the internet floating around. 
um, as far as who you, uh, you know, what your playing style compares to in the NBA, who, who would you liken yourself to a, uh, you know, a guy that's, uh, you know, your playing style to a guy in the NBA? A lot of people say I play like D'Angelo Russell, and I see it all the time. And I mean, I can see it at some point. I just see myself as more athletic. Uh, I watch a lot of uh, Drew Holiday. You know how he gets in the mid post or he posts up like little guards or how he comes off ball screens, you know, plays with pace. So I like to compare myself to like a lot of Drew Holiday, but also like a little bit of, uh, you know, Brad Bill as well. For sure. That's two. That's a uh, elite defender an elite offensive player there, obviously. Um, who do you, uh, I mean, when, when you're looking at the defensive side of things, are you, uh, are you trying to expand your versatility where you can cover maybe a one through a three, trying to really focus on covering scores? How, what are you focusing on the defensive end? Uh, me and my coach, we talk about it all the time. You know, I'm just focused on like being able to be a, a great on, on ball defender as well as off the ball, you know, being vocal on the defensive side, you know, get my, you know, get my teammates in spots and knowing where I'm supposed to be, you know, help side, you know, just really just working on a lot of talking, you know, being able to guard a point guard. But if I need to guard like a three or a two, you know, being able to do that as well. So really just working on moving my feet and also talking. For sure. So, Keontae, let's break down your game a little bit, man. Six four guard, uh, you're, you're very able to break your defender down off the dribble. You're great at getting to your spots. Uh, you're very good in the mid-range area as well. Uh, crafty finishing around the rim, great passer. Uh, before reaching the college level, I know Alec just touched on what you're working on on the defensive end. What are you working on on the offensive end to improve before the college level? Uh, really just uh, get my jump shot more consistent, being more efficient. You know, uh, also working on my uh, post game. You know, if I got a little guard, I can post them up, working on different moves to get easy buckets, like easy points, get to the free throw line. So just working on stuff like that, uh, working on my touch, you know, floaters, you know, and also been working on my left hand a lot. You know, I go through workouts with just my left hand at times. So just being able to finish with my right hand and my left hand. For sure. You sound like pretty motivated to obviously get better. What what would you say provides you the most motivation in your life? Uh, My parents, you know, they give me a roof over my head. You know, they feed me every day. You know, they get me to where I need to be. You know, they give, they, they give me the workouts all the time. They wake up early to work. So really just being able to grind and then just hopefully make it one day and just get back to them, you know, so they don't have to work, you know. For everything they did for me, I could just get back to them. That's a great answer. Yeah, last question from me, Keontae. Uh, what are your goals for the rest of this season at high school? Uh, just really, Just really just win games. You know, improve as a team, you know, as me improve, improve as a player. But just finish the season strong, you know, try to win out every single game and be able to win our last tournament in North Carolina. Moving ahead to the grassroots season, you don't have to break any news if you don't want. But, um, you know, what, what? who are you looking forward to play against? Uh, and then, you know, are you looking forward to, I guess, get back to a normal, right, spring schedule? It looks like most programs are going to play, a, you know, a normal spring and summer schedule. Uh, most definitely looking forward to uh, the AAU pro uh, AAU circuit. You know, uh, now I may I made some changes with my AAU team. I don't know if they want me to let that know, but y'all see that soon. Uh, you know, we got a you know the team I'm playing. We got a tournament in Arkansas. You know, my uh, coach he's able to tell me he might get Bates. So looking forward to playing. You know, top player, number one player in my class. You know, just go out there, compete, and have fun. For sure. You got, you got one more year of it. So, you know, one more, two more seasons. So definitely enjoy it for sure. Uh, Keontae, appreciate your time. Uh, we'll uh, obviously catch up with you later in this season. And then uh, as we uh, head into the spring and summer. I right, appreciate it. Yep. Take care, man. Yeah, All right, you too.